Once it is all the way down, um, there will be some hooks that lock in to make sure that it is locked up, as Jesse had said earlier. Once again, we will not be using the forward bulkhead Draco thrusters anymore. Honestly, this view is just so cool to see everything that's happening. You can still see Earth, you've got Dragon maneuvering, you've got the nose cone closing, and you get to see the Skywalker mobility aid all in one. <laughs> You can see that nose cone coming down to its final position ever so slowly and ever so sadly. <laughs> <laughs> Slow and steady. Uh. And again, we close the nose cone in preparation for re-entry of the vehicle. This helps keep the nose cone safe intact with the vehicle. Um, again, we are going to close this and lock this. Uh, and this protects the top part of the vehicle as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Now we don't necessarily need it for Dragon, but we do want to protect that Skywalker uh, during re-entry, which we don't typically have or haven't had before on Dragon missions. Um, so this nose cone will actually keep that Skywalker mobility aid pretty safe as well. Indeed. Now, while all this has been going on, the vehicle has initiated the Nitrox suit purge. This helps to keep our crew members cool and comfortable during re-entry which once again, we expect that to occur uh, here in a few minutes, in about a half hour, or a little bit less than a half hour. The exterior of the vehicle will reach temperatures of about 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit.